This is DDS Detroit Raw. The Mario Don Shea Horn McCulley, born May 11th, 1994. Better known by his stage name, Rio the Young OG. It's an American rapper and songwriter from Flint, Michigan. He signed the boys ENT. This is Detroit Raw, Rio the Young OG. If y'all don't know, which I know a lot of people still don't, I was born and raised in Flint, Michigan. Rio the Young OG started making music with RMC Mike as a teenager, recording songs on the karaoke machine for him and his friends to listen to. Rio didn't take rap seriously until his idol team Eastside Peasy encouraged him and proved that rap did make money. Honestly, it kind of feel like, it, like to the outside world, it probably seemed like, it. I mean, you can say overnight though, a year of shit, because like, all the time, I, like since I dropped my first CD, Testers, I was on Tether when I dropped that. And I was on Tether for like 11 months, so mm -hmm. that was all work, you feel me? I ain't had shit else to do but work, so I feel like it happened fast, but to the outside world, it probably seemed like overnight, but I, I put in a lot of work, though, you feel me? In a past interview, Rio said when he met Peasy, he showed him a $20,000 check the first day. And he told him, I made $50,000 a day, honestly. And that right there made Rio take shit serious. I think Peasy gave me some money. Like, it was never about the money. Like, like when I got signed to Ghetto Boys, my knowledge was, I thought he already had, like, Babyface Ray. I thought people was already under there, but... Once I signed, I was his first artist that he actually signed on paper, but he never looked at me as an artist. It was always more brother. And he told me, like when I dropped that Ghetto Boy intro song, which was one of the big songs that got me known, he had came to my house while I was on Tether. And I was still kind of fucked up. So when he said, I want to sign you, me just being from the hood, when I hear sign, like any, when you hear sign, you think money. Hey, but on some real shit in the beginning, Rio said he didn't take this shit serious. He thought Detroit rap was just for show. Like, you know, these niggas not really that rich. They not really making no money like that. Quote, but when Peasy showed me what time it was and showed me that money and told me how much he liked my rap, I was like, I damn near got to do it. Because Peasy was somebody we liked and Team Eastside was something serious when we was coming up in Flint. Seen the reaction from people. I knew it can get serious, but at the time, I'm like, don't nobody want to hear this shit I'm talking about, like on that scale. So when Peasy told me he loved it, the music, that was somebody we looked up to. Team Eastside was big. And I always liked the Peasy. Like before I met him, all that, like he was always just real relatable. So Rio's music career took off in the late 2019 after his hit single, Legendary, was released. That was my shit, amassing millions of streams, solidifying his spot in the Michigan rap scene. Dude, but see, the thing with me is, like, I've been in the streets all my life. Like, it was a, it was really, like, in, in Flint or small, so it was going down and, like, with people around, like a lot of people was getting killed. All this shit been going on. So I always moved kind of different. But with me being a rapper now, you gonna notice. Rio frequently collaborates with fellow Michigan rappers, Crispy Life Kid, RMC Mike, Louis Ray, YNJ, Grind Hard E, and Georgia rapper, Lil Yachty. Hell yeah, every 10 minutes I think about that shit. And it ain't even, it ain't even more so like, like, I'm at a point in my life financially where I'm straight. I know if I do have to sit down, my family going to be straight. But the thing I think about the most is my son. I got a growing son. But unfortunately, like so many other Detroit rappers, at the height of his career, legal trouble ensued. In federal court documents, Rio was named in a February 2019 grand jury indictment. To charge the rapper with conspiracy to distribute cocaine base and heroin. He was named alongside five other people. In February 2020, Rio reached a plea deal that waived the indictment in favor for a plea agreement. Ultimately, he pled guilty to possession of a firearm and drug trafficking crimes and was sentenced to 60 months in prison. This is 
Detroit Raw, Rio the Young OG.